It's one of the coolest parts of being a videographer. I've been flying for five years. That's what we're talking about today. Hi guys, I'm Scott Riley. I own High Guys Video, LLC. It's actually the reason I named my company High Guys Video, LLC, because we fly drones and we get high in the air. Hi guys. mostly in Altoona, Pennsylvania, but I do get down to Naples, Florida, Fort Myers, Southwest Florida area uh, for work as well. Today I'm talking about the use of drone in, in what I do. Uh, so I became a pilot back in, according to this license here, May of 2018. Um, this is a Part 107 drone license. Uh, in order to get one, you have to be certified through the FAA. Anybody can buy a drone. Uh, anybody can fly a drone. There's nothing stopping anybody from kind of popping one in the air um, and, and not really being familiar with uh, drone laws. But I'm a commercial drone pilot. I get paid for what I do. And so I was required to go get uh, one of these. In order to uh, fly, there's not actual like experience required. It's, it's simply a written test. And I did this first in 2018, May of 2018, so what is that, five years? And so I've been flying for five years. I, uh, I've flown a variety of drones uh, from, the, from the Phantom, mostly DJI, all DJI, uh, from the Phantom uh, to uh, the Mavic series uh, to what I use personally. I personally own a Mavic Mini 2, um, it's not a very large drone and I prefer it that way. So when, when I had to get my pilot's license, I used a program and I'm gonna give them a shout out uh, called Remote Pilot 101. Um, it's Jason Shepard based out of Sarasota, Florida. He's a pilot and a drone pilot who put together a course for a month or six weeks, something like that. I studied his videos. I took practice tests on all the knowledge. The things you need to know, I'm not gonna get into um, how crazy the test is, but you should be aware that it's not easy. There's sectional charts. If you're familiar with pilot lingo, um, you're reading METARs and TAFs, uh, weather reports. Um, there's all sorts of jargon, and <clears throat> I'm not gonna say you don't need all that, um, but I would say uh, the instances where I'm reading uh, or trying to decipher uh, a METAR is uh, they've been few and far between in, in my career as a drone pilot. So, But the original reason that I got one was because drones started getting more popular and I was a news photographer and it was it was becoming clear that you know, there's so many advantages to using a drone in that line of work, but there's so many advantages to, to having uh, a drone in commercial work as well. Having the ability to, to get above, uh, having the ability to fly and, and, and see wide landscapes from 300 feet up, that's, uh, that's something that you really can't get from any other camera. And so while I use a ground camera like you're looking at right now, and I use underwater cameras with my GoPro, I have a, I have a Canon as well, I have the DJI Osmo, um, but the drone is really one of the ones that everybody seems to notice when you use it. And the way I use it, there's so much more potential with it than just the steady big opening shot. Um, I like to fly through things and I like to use it kind of in a cinematic way where we're maneuvering past things, we're sliding to the left and to the right. In certain instances, it can replace uh, the use of like jibs, 
um, and, and these big elaborate uh, crane setups that, that people have that cost Hollywood a fortune to make, you can now do things like that um, for, for a couple hundred dollars with a drone as long as the pilot is experienced. Um, and so that's, that's something that I work at is, is trying to get better um, being a pilot so that I can get more creative with my drone. Some of you that follow me might know that I, I do real estate photography. A big show that I help produce down in Naples, Open House Naples. Um, we are touring large pieces of real estate, flying through houses. We are flying around pools. We're going from one room to the next. Um, you could get these shots with a slider. You could get these shots with a, a jib. You could get these shots with, uh, you know, a stabilizer, um, you know, putting your camera on a stabilizer. But you can also get these shots. Come on in. If you're a skilled pilot, you can get these shots with a drone. Ha having the ability to slide left and right very smoothly, GPS kind of locks it in place. Uh, when I was working with Charlie's Tree Service, I certainly had a better way to show what they do uh, by, by getting my drone up there. But I also, I don't just hover in place. Um, you know, movement with the drone adds to certain dramatic uh, moments in a story. You know, moving from ground up to where we are in the tree really kind of emphasizes how high we are. I'm, I'm working with Busy Beaver as well. And, you know, I, I basically launch my drone almost on every instance I can. Uh, any project I'm working on, I'll try to find a way that I can incorporate the drone in there because it allows me to do the establishing shots. It allows me to move from one scene to the next. Have these Hollywood cinematic shots. Mainstream use of a drone basically came came about in the last 10 years, but more more seriously about five years ago uh, was when all this started. So it wasn't possible um, just a short time ago. And now if you're a business owner, uh, you can get these shots. Show off, you know, the, your property. You wanted to show off where you are in relation to the community around you. Um, those are the sort of things that are now possible that would have cost you a fortune just a short time ago. So I'm a drone pilot based in Altoona, Pennsylvania, and it's been wonderful um, since I moved back here, being able to show off the different parts of our town. Um, you know, certainly in the fall, I popped it up in the air. The foliage is beautiful showing off the cathedral, um, just the mountains around here, all the railroads. It's just a very pretty part of the country to show off with a drone. So anyway, wanted to explain um, what I can do with video. Uh, if, if you ever get my business card that has Hi Guys Video LLC, I'm not a stoner, uh, I just like to fly my drone. Have a good one.